Okay, today we're gonna try and do a little bit of myth busting. I'm still relatively new to the whole Pokemon card scene, but in all of my uh, travels, I have heard a lot of stuff about one particular set. One particular set of Pokemon cards that might just be the most hated Pokemon set of all time. Or at the very least, the one that's the most popular to joke about being the worst. I am of course talking about Pokemon X and Y Steam Siege. This is before my time with the Pokemon card game, this was released in 2016, I believe. And for whatever reason, this has a reputation in the Pokemon card scene for just being the worst set. Anytime you watch a popular Pokemon card YouTuber opening something and they get a Steam Siege pack, they act like they just got spat on. <laughs> like, they're just like, ah, oh, Steam Siege, oh, come on. And as a result, for being a box as old as 2016, it's actually kind of cheap to come across, though I'm sure that price is gonna start going up eventually. But for now, I decided that I wanted to put this reputation to the test and see if Steam Siege is just as bad as everyone says or if it's actually misunderstood. I'm already kind of leaning towards that it's misunderstood and people are just having a bit of a meme. But yeah, we got a full booster box of XY Steam Siege right here. We're gonna open it up and see what happens. Now this isn't my first time opening Steam Siege. I've opened a few random packs here and there, but I've never done a booster box. One of the things that I think gives this set kind of its bad reputation is the fact that it was released during the height of the break cards era in Pokemon. Breaks are a mechanic that the Pokemon card game was doing back during this X and Y era that, oh, it's upside down, that were like these big flashy gold cards. I don't know exactly what they did because I don't know how to play the game, but this is what they looked like. They came in the reverse hollow slot in the pack and oftentimes if you got a break, you didn't really get anything else. And I don't know, these things just weren't very popular and there's a lot of them in Steam Siege. This particular Machamp one is actually from XY Evolutions, which which I opened an ETB of last night for fun. Uh, and then this happened, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it on camera. But we're not talking about evolutions today, we're talking about Steam Siege. I guess this is a break version of, is that Eveltal on the front? I can hardly tell what that is. That is a that is a golden nightmare. But all right, we're cracking into the very first pack of XY Steam Siege to see if it is just as bad as everyone says or if it's actually kind of misunderstood. So this is XY era 2016. So we still got code cards to give out, but we don't have an energy in the pack. So it's only going to be three to the front instead of four to the front. And I'm noticing that there's some actual, like there's some wear and tear on the top of these cards. That's not great to see. All right, hey, <laughs> all right, starting off good for me. Flaffy is one of my favorite Pokemon. Love to see a Flaffy. Fletchender. Pokemon Ranger. Oh man, look at these, man. See, this is gonna be where my recency bias comes in because I love the look of these old X and Y cards, even though, you know, these aren't particularly quote unquote exciting cards. Because I got into everything so recently, these look so old school to me, even though they're not that old. Oh man, they're like eight years old though. Oh, these are getting up there though. <laughs> Wait, no, 2016? Four. These are about six years old. I can do math, but we got a Halucha reverse uncommon. We got a reverse uncommon Halucha, and our first pack is ending with a Bastiodon, non-hollow. All right, but seriously, look at that Flaffy. Look at that cute Flaffy. I love it, I love it. Yeah, man, the X and Y era is getting up there. I mean, those games are, I think they're going on a decade old, and the sets are going on like at the latest six years old. It's insane to see how quickly this stuff has gotten old. Even though I wasn't even around for this stuff, I was not paying attention. Ooh. Ooh, I was not paying attention to Pokemon at the time. Here is another interesting thing. We got an Azumarill. Huh, I'm gonna have to look up what this thing is called. It's like a shiny Azumarill. They're like gold, but the card is split between water and fairy type energy. Oh, that's another thing. There was fairy energy in these days. They don't have that anymore. <laughs> Hold up, let's look what this thing is called. Okay, I'm not finding anything specific as to what this type of card is called. It's just a split energy card and the Azumarill is gold. Okay, well, that's our first card. Now we can actually get to the rest of the pack. We got another Fletchender. Oh, look at that Skiploom. Look at his little fuzzy Muppet face. Aw, Litwick, the candle put Mareep, Mareep. Oh man, can we get an Ampros through the whole evolution line? We got Kurogunk. 
Ooh, look at this art. Look at this really like thick line art, very picture book cartoony style with the Tangela. Rufflet, a oh, Fletching reverse, Fletchling reverse hollow, and a Probo Pass, so no hollows yet. All right, so two packs in. I've grabbed the exact same pack art every time, but okay, we're two packs in and we're already seeing like a lot of interesting types of like, even just commons and uncommons that you, we don't have in the Pokemon scene anymore. So like that, that alone can be really interesting to see when opening these older packs, even if they're not the most exciting sets. And in terms of cards that we're actually looking for, like big chase cards, this XY era were the days of EX cards uh, the second time around because there were EX cards in like the early 2000s with Gen 3. But this time it's a different kind of EX. It's a capital EX, not lowercase EX. We got a Clauncher, huh? I don't know if I've seen this Pokemon before. We got a Clauncher Reverse and a Weavile, non-hollow still. Also, can we take a second to appreciate just how much nicer these reverses look than the current uh, ones from Sword and Shield? It's so much more shiny. It just gets the job done as a reverse a lot better. I don't know. I'm like in a Steam Siege defending mode right now. <laughs> I'm here to prove this set is worth its salt. We got, okay, here's another pack art. We got the Xerneas with the break gold thing happening. Let's see what we can find. So, uh, I think the big things in the set besides break cards are gonna be the Guard of Wars. There's a Guard of War EX full art that I think is like not fully tag team. I did four to the front by accident. It's not like a full tag team thing, but there's like an Eveltal in the background. I don't know. It's going to have a gold border. So you'll know it when you see it. We got a Duat, a uh, Braviary, Armor Fossil Shield on. <laughs> All right. Nose Pass, Lit Leo. Oh, it's just so cool to see these more old school looking cards. I love this art. Look at this hop hip art. This almost feels like original Pokemon art. It's kind of got like a crayon coloring book look to it. Oh, Litwick. Oh, there's our first break card. Here we go. We got a Xerneas break. Exactly what was on the pack. We got the Xerneas break on the pack in the card on the, uh, Never mind. what's behind it. And we got a Gastrodon, non-hollow. So yes, this is a proper break card from Steam Siege. It is one of the most gaudy Vegas cards I've ever seen. Like this is unreal levels of tacky, but it is something that was only around in this like XY era. Maybe they'll shoot the moon and become popular again one day, but I don't know. They don't seem to be super popular among collectors these days, but that was in the reverse hollow slot and the pack had a green code card. So, you know, you can kind of get something in every pack. You don't have to worry about what color the code is. Even if you don't love break cards, it's nice to have the chance at something in any pack. That's always really fun. That's why I love what they're doing these days with the trainer gallery and even with a vivid, uh, 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 even with vivid voltage and the amazing rares, which I will never shut up about them needing to bring back. All right, let's see. We got a Steelix Spirit Link. That's another thing. These were the days of the Spirit Link mechanic. There's a lot of these in evolutions for like Charizard and Blastoise and Venusaur. Shield on, Persian, Hopip. Litwick, we've seen a lot of this Litwick. We got another Mareep, we're gonna keep that one. Krogunk, Tangela, we're getting the doubles now. We got a Litwick Reverse, we have seen this in almost every pack, and on the back, Pyroar, non-hollow, still no hollows yet, interesting. Yeah, I just kind of have a thing for underdog sets when it comes to Pokemon. Like everyone hates Steam Siege. A lot of people hated base set too, you know? These sets that people kind of ignore, I always have a fascination with them because there's clearly something there that got a, an emotional reaction out of people, but just not a positive one. But that kind of thing can often lead to a set that goes, ooh, Rapidash. That kind of thing can often lead to sets that fly under the radar and suddenly have like this second win sometime in the future. So it's always kind of nice to see what kind of sets get that like nice second life a few years after they come out. Ooh, we got that Azumarill reverse now. I love that. That looks gorgeous. Oh, what's on the back? Cobalion, non-hollow. Man, that would look great as a hollow, but no hollows yet. Oh man. Whenever I do these videos, I just kind of grab around randomly in the box. And sometimes that just leads to like the longest streak of bad luck <laughs> I have ever seen. It's just like pack after pack after pack, just happening to not grab the ones with the hollows in them. Oh, we got that Rapidash again. Look at that. Let's take a second to appreciate that art a little bit more. That's so nice, dude. Kind of gives me like Neo era vibes. Ah, we got a special charge. We got another Azumarill. I like that one. Uh, Rufflet. Ooh, Oshawott. We haven't seen this guy yet. That's cute. Uh, Ponyard. Ponyta to match the Rapidash. <laughs> one of the greatest arts in Pokemon history. 
Clink, we got that guy. Yanma reverse, and an Avalug on the back. Still no hollows, interesting. But we still got a lot of packs left to go through, so, so we might just end up with a pretty loaded second half of this box if we've only managed to get one singular break and no hollows. Ooh, look at this Nuzleaf. This Nuzleaf art I've never seen. This is wonderful. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm gonna keep that one out. Pokemon Ranger. What is this? Okay, this is uh, getting into some more of those blind spots for me with my history with Pokemon. What is this? Anorith and Norith? Huh, I've never seen that Pokemon in my life. Meowth? Ponyta. There are some people in the comments of my videos who have legitimately kind of called me a poser for not knowing exactly how to pronounce the names of every single Pokemon, when I am very transparent about the fact that I got into this again very recently, and there are still a lot of blind spots for me. We got a Volcanion non-hollow, exactly what was on the pack. Yeah, I unfortunately didn't get back into Pokemon until I rediscovered the cards and got really obsessed with those back in like 2021. So, you know, there's like a big blind spot for me with like Gen 4, Four, five, six, and seven. I've kind of been filling in the gaps as I go, but because the card sets that are the most easily accessible right now are Sword and Shield sets, I've become very acquainted with Sword and Shield Pokemon. Ooh, Nidoran. That's a great art as well. Fungus. 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 I've become very acquainted with like the modern Pokemon, like the modern, modern Pokemon, but there are just a lot of Pokemon. If I can finish my thought, there are a lot of blind spots for me when it comes to like the middle eras of Pokemon that I just wasn't around for because I kind of fell out of Pokemon in the meantime. There are some Pokemon from like those middle generations that I've just never seen before. And so, you know, I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce the names of all 900 Pokemon properly, <laughs> but you know, I don't think that makes me a poser. I think that just makes me a noob, which I've never said I'm not. We got a Clink, Mantine, we got a Hydra, Dragon Reverse Rare. That's the closest thing to a hollow we've had so far. And Kobolion again. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to address that. It doesn't really bother me that people think I'm like a fake fan because I don't know how to pronounce a name right or something like that, or that I got into it relatively recently. People are gonna think what they think. And I know that I like Pokemon a lot. And I also know that saying the names wrong is funny. We got Tangrowth, Captivating Pokepuff. Oh, my diabetes is hurting. Drift Blim. Ponyta, Rufflet, Larvista, Joltik, Tangela. Ooh, we got an Eveltal Reverse Rare. That's pretty sick. And on the back, oh, ooh, ha, this is a full art trainer. Professor Sycamore. Oh, I love this one. Of the few Steam Siege packs I have opened, I have pulled this one before. And I love these kinds of full art trainers because while I'm not huge on full art trainers in general, usually I just rather have a card with a Pokemon on it. These Professor cards tend to also have some Pokemon on them. So I have a little bit more of a soft spot for them than I would otherwise. I like it, look at that little guy. With the reverse rare Eveltal. So that's like our first big, big hit. Nice. What are the odds that like the best card that I've managed to pull from Steam Siege just in the past was also in my one Steam Siege box. So we've got our first big, big hit. Let's see if we can keep that train rolling. Uh, that might be the biggest hit of the box unless we hit that secret rare Gardevoir EX. Mm, that'd be interesting. Ninja Boy. Oh, Rapidash. Persian. Whoa, look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. What's that guy? I never noticed that before. It's like very much popping out of the background. What is that? I mean, clearly it's a different kind of Pokemon, most likely. And that's another one of my blind spots. I must just not know what that is. Tangela. Ponyard, Oshawott, Nidoran, I love that one, Fungus, Shieldun, Reverse, and a Talon Flame. nice. Another thing is I'm trying to get a little bit better at actually filming these videos. Um, the first crop of videos that I filmed for this channel that are still actively going up right now were filmed on my phone with like a really rinky dink uh, desk tripod. And even though that setup wasn't great, it got the job done really well. And the phone camera was great for these videos. The sh Ooh, Flappy, the cards showed up really well. But ever since I switched to this new camera and got more of a sturdy official setup, I don't, I don't know, I feel like I've not been able to get the cards to show up on camera quite as well. Maybe it's also the new playmat. I don't know, but I'm working with like different. Ooh, Xerneas. We got a Xerneas hollow. I like these hollows, man. This is such a simple hollow pattern. There's nothing really fancy going on with it, but to me, it just looks so much better than what we got now in Sword and Shield. Xerneas hollow. That's our first proper hollow. But yeah, ever since I started using this like proper camera setup and got this new playmat and stuff, I feel like I've been struggling to get the videos to look as good as they did when they were just 
being filmed on my phone. So I'm working with like how far up or down the camera is placed, you know, the lighting setup. I'm really trying to work to make these look a little bit better. I feel like some of the videos that have come out recently have maybe looked a little bit too blurry and a little bit too just not quite clear enough for my taste. So I really want to try and get that up. We got a Shellos. Avalug reverse rare, that's fun. And a prime ape with multiple, multiple prime apes. But enough behind the scenes, let's talk Pokemon. Cool, my favorite Pokemon used to be Charmeleon from like my childhood. My, my favorite Pokemon as a kid was Charmander. As I got older, I leaned towards Charmeleon. Now, honestly, really and truly, I think it might be Celebi. <laughs> I think it might've just completely changed and now it's Celebi. I love Celebi and I love collecting Celebi cards. Like my absolute favorite card of all time is the amazing rare Celebi from Vivid Voltage. It's just such a nice card. I don't think there's any in this set, so we might have to find a set with a lot of good Celebi representation in it and open that sometime soon. Ooh, or maybe, maybe we do a custom booster box of sets that all have a chance of getting a Celebi card, like Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, stuff like that. That could be fun. That could be a fun idea. I have kind of a play on what I've seen Real Breaking Nate do with his Charizard only booster boxes. I don't know. We got a reverse rare Meryl. Oh, I love Meryl. They made Meryl a fairy type in this set. Interesting. I always love this Pokemon on as a kid. We got a hollow on the back? Nah, we got a Pyroar again. Pyroar. All right, we got three packs left before we are halfway through this box. So I'm gonna mega pack these. If you're not familiar with the mega pack, it's an idea I got from watching Max Mofo's videos where you take your packs, you rip them open, you got the cards out, you take the code card off the back, you put your three to the front, you set two to the side, and then you can go through everything else you got. We got the Azumarill, Lampent, Ambipom, Chimchar. That's a cool one. Clauncher, Dot, and Nosepass. So what we've now done is we've taken whatever the reverse hollow and rare are and we've set them off to the side and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the next two packs so that we just have this six card mega pack of only rares and reverses. Like I said, it's definitely something I stole from Max Mofo Pokemon, but I find it to be a very fun way to change the pace up when doing these big booster boxes where, you know, it can, oh, I forgot to put the two to the back. I, I forgot, I got all caught up, I'm sorry. But, you know, it's the kind of thing that can really be a nice change of pace during these longer 30 36 pack booster box openings. We got the nose pass, chimchar, yeah, meowth and a hop hip. Because one thing I've noticed when doing these booster boxes is that, you know, it can kind of be hard to keep the energy up the whole time. It can kind of be hard to keep the thing riveting from start to finish because, you know, that's a lot of packs to go through. So I like to do these like mega packs every now and then to just kind of keep the pace moving. And on our last one, we got the one I've never seen, Halucha. Duat, Sneasel, Litleo, Nosepass, Chimchar, and Meowth. But yes, now we have a six card mega pack that is just reverses and rares. So let's see what we can get out of this. We got a Yon Mega reverse rare. Yes, a reverse rare Yon Mega. We got an Armaldo non hollow. We got a Claw, Fossil, and Norith, that thing again, <laughs> in a reverse. Spirit Tomb non hollow. Hoopa reverse rare. This is the reverse rare set. And a Samurott, who, fun fact, I called the wrong name throughout every single one of my Astral Radiance openings and had to censor it with Samurott. <laughs> so I've learned my lesson there. I know that I say them wrong sometimes, and I know that sometimes my blood sugar. I know that I say them wrong sometimes and they're not always on purpose, but sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. And when they're not and it's really bad, I will kind of correct myself, but sometimes I just don't know. But yeah, Samurott and a reverse rare Hoopa. So that was our first, maybe only mega pack of the box, but we still got half the box left and we didn't get a single holographic in that mega pack. So we've only pulled one standard hollow in this entire box, one full art trainer, no e EXs yet, so this should be a pretty stacked second half of the box. Or it's not, and maybe Steam Siege is just kind of an underwhelming set. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun opening this, but maybe it's just because it's older. Gardevoir Spirit Link, my favorite Nuzleaf card now. Claw Fossil, C Dot, Fletchling, Clauncher. Apom, we've not seen this one yet. That's really cute. Look at all those little Apoms in the rainbow in the background. Yanma, Talonflame Reverse Rare. We're on the reverse rare train today. And a Shift Tree Hollow. Here we go. Now we're getting to it. Shift Tree Hollow with that double energy thing. Leaf and darkness energy, shift tree hollow. That's cool, man. So that was a cool, unique hollow that you don't get to see anymore, plus a reverse rare. So that was basically a double hit pack. Can we keep that luck going on this next one? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, two, three, front, let's go. Persian, greedy dice. Never seen that one before. Ooh, Monferno. Here's something new. Monferno evolved from, uh, 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 Chimchar. Evolved from Chimchar. <laughs> Mantine, Shellos, Merrill, Merrill, Merrill. Sometimes I just say them wrong and I realize it and I correct it. Drifloom, Dot, Mantine Reverse. Oh, there we go. We got a Volcanion EX full art, man. That's cool. I've never pulled this card before. I've never owned this card before. I did not know this card existed until right now, and I love it. These old school EXs. Oh, and this is a double energy too. This is fire and water. Look at that background. It looks really dark on camera. I hope this is picking up right. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's the best. That's probably the best pull of the box so far. Professor Sycamore might technically be worth more, but... You know, I like EX full arts better. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. And I kind of assumed that this would be a question I'd get eventually, you know. I've seen one or two comments wondering why I don't pop up the prices for the cards that I pull like a lot of other Pokemon YouTubers do. And I don't have a problem with people doing that, but I don't know. It, it just seemed like something that I didn't want to do with this channel. Like I like the idea of just being able to be excited for the cards themselves, not the, you know, monetary value. Like I don't mind talking about the monetary value of these cards, but I don't want that to be the focus and I worry that flashing the prices up can accidentally shift things into a monetary focus. But hey, we got a reverse rare Infernape here. This one has a really cool hollow. And Primeape. Yeah, I don't know. I just figured I'd kind of respond to one or two comments that I've been seeing since the channel launched <laughs> while making this video. I've been considering doing like maybe a Q&A kind of opening where like while I open packs, I'm like answering questions from people because I don't really love when the commentary is just Monferno. Nidorino, Clink, Mantine. You know, so, it, like sometimes it's hard not to fall into that when you're like really focused in, but ooh, Galvantula, <laughs> reverse rare. Ooh, Nidoking. Ooh, Nidoking, that's cool. That's a really cool non-hollow, I love that. But yeah, it can be hard not to like really hone in on just like looking at the cards and saying what cards you're pulling while you're opening because you want the cards to get like the due attention, like they are the focal point of the video. But you know, that doesn't necessarily lead to engaging commentary. So if you talk too much about something else, the cards aren't getting their focus and your pack doesn't have any like build up. But if you only focus on the cards you're pulling, then the video's a little bit more boring. So, you know, just trying to find like a good balance of things. And I've considered doing like, like a comment Q and A kind of video. So while I open these packs, I'm answering questions from the audience or something like that. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. Meowth, reverse, common, Ooh, and a Magurnia EX. So this is a standard EX. The Volcanium we got earlier was a full art EX, so it was like a big textured card. This is a standard EX, kind of the XY era equivalent of V cards today. And this is the Magurnia or Magirna or whoever they are. Cool. <laughs> As I expected, we are finally getting into the big pulls on this second half of the box. That's our first standard EX. We got a full art EX. We got a full art trainer. We're finally getting a couple of hollows here and there. Ooh, this is fun. This is good. I like opening these older sets, even the ones that are not as exciting. I don't know. I, I would love to open more older sets, but they're just more expensive. They're harder to get a hold of. Uh, do what? Gardevoir Spirit Link, the key Pokemon. Look at that. Look at that guy with all of his keys. Clink, Mantine, Shellos, uh, Meryl, Drifloon, Pyroar, there we go. We got a reverse rare Pyroar. And on the back, Shiftry Hollow again. Nice. Kind of weird to double up on one of the only hollows we pulled this entire box, but all right. So yeah, so far, Steam Siege is not really disappointing me. I am very happy with how this box is going. I'm very happy with the cards I'm getting, you know? Maybe it's just because I wasn't there, but I'm not seeing the hate so far. Uh, this is just fun. <laughs> like, it's cool to see these older cards. Ambipom. Tangrowth. Maybe it's one of those things that you can only really appreciate with some time. Like, you know, a set like Battle Styles and Rebel Clash that I think people aren't really big on in terms of the modern sets. I'm really hoping those kind of get their due in a few years. Drifloon, 
And Jump Luff. Oh, I love Jump Luff. It's not a hollow, but I love Jump Luff. Yeah, man, I've said it before, but Battle Styles was the first and most recent set that I opened when I was getting back into Pokemon. It was like the most recently released set when I first got back into buying these cards. So like, I have a massive soft spot for that set, but it seems to be the least popular and least cared about set in the entire Sword and Shield era. And I really hope it kind of gets its due one day because it's a great set. We got a Clauncher, a Palm. Yanma, Clang Reverse, uh, con common, Clang Reverse Uncommon, oh, oh, ooh, and a Volcanion EX. We got the standard EX now. To be completely honest, I've never been the biggest fan of how EX cards look in the XY era, but this looks really nice. I really love the orange and blue split. Nice. So where does that leave us? Two, four, six, eight, ten packs left. And then this Steam Siege box is done. What's left that we could get? I imagine it's gonna be a lot of hollows and probably EXs and maybe a couple more break cards. I'm not sure, but I'm really hoping that maybe we can sneak out of this with that secret rare Gardevoir EX full art. That's a cool card. I've got a couple copies of that card, but I'd love to pull it. Zwellius, Greedy Dice, Duat, Litleo, Nidoran, Ugh, nose pass, hop hip, meowth, Nitto King reverse. Oh, if I was gonna get any reverse rare in this set, I would have wanted it to be this. That looks so cool. And on the back, Chandelure Hollow. There we go. That really trippy Tomokazu Kamiya art. Oh, that looks wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three front pack Lampent. Did I say Lampert before? I guess I misread that. Lampent. Yeah, Puff Azumarill again. I love that one. Yanma Sneasel. Litleo. Nose Pass, Chimchar. Let's take a second to look at this Chimchar. This is great art. Playing into that Steam Siege theming with the little cog in his mouth that he like ripped off of. Uh, what is that? Is he like disassembling a plane mid-flight? Oh no. Chimchar, Litleo Reverse, that's cute. And on the back, hey, we got another Xerneas Hollow. We've pulled so few Hollows up until now and we're doubling up on most of them. Now, I do know that while this might not have my favorite Pokemon, Celebi, it has one of my other favorite Pokemon Pokemon as a hollow. Ampharos, I've got the... I've yet to see the Ampharos holographic, so maybe we can get that one. Oh, good sign to start out with. We got a Flaffy, Steelix Spirit Link, Apom. I don't know, man. I just love the way Gen 2 Pokemon look. There's something about it that just really connects with me in a way. Hey! <laughs> All right, there we go. That's what I was looking for. We got the reverse holographic Ampharos and on the back, come on. Oh, no double up, but I was really hoping we could get Ampharos into Ampharos, but whatever. We got Samurai. Yeah, man, I had this in a hollow. I don't think I had it in a reverse. That's great. I don't know, man. There's something about the design of Gen 2 Pokemon that I love so much more now than I did when I was a kid. Like you can pretty much look at any Gen 2 Pokemon and know, oh yeah, that's from Gen 2. Whether you know what the Pokemon is or not, there's just a nice cohesive design concept behind them all. And I love seeing that. I wish there was something like that, that they could bring back. I feel like a lot of Pokemon now don't really have that. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to see more modern Pokemon with that like Gen 2 design philosophy behind them. There's a lot of like like stripes and weird like floating circles and stuff. I don't know. There's just a very, very recognizable Gen 2 look. And I don't know. I just love it. Reverse rare Volcanion and a Nitto King non hollow You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? How like Gen 1 Pokemon look like Gen 1 Pokemon, Gen 2 Pokemon very much look like Gen 2 Pokemon, but you know, maybe it's just cause I've not been following them as much, but like a lot of later Gen Pokemon lineups don't really seem to have as much of that cohesion. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I might be very wrong and I'm welcome to being wrong here, but uh, maybe it's just cause I haven't experienced them all at once like I did with Gen 1 and 2. But even Gen 3, I don't know if I felt had the same like design cohesion. I don't know. I'm talking talking a lot about nothing. Samurott reverse. And then Evelto Hollow, doubling up on the hollows again. Well, I guess I'm not trying to say that modern Pokemon designs don't have like a nice cohesive like through line, but I feel like there's just a style. There's an aesthetic to Gen 2 Pokemon that never carried on. And I'd like to see that come back. That's something I'd love to see. Like the Gen 2 aesthetic coming back. Gen 2 was when Pokemon was the most interesting and mysterious to me. And I'd love to see that kind of energy come back. You know, with Celebi and Suicune, the legendary dogs, the legendary birds, like, you know, uh, uh, Ho-Oh and Lugia specifically. Um, and ooh, Zwellius, reverse holographic. 
and a Talon Flame. But yeah, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Suicune, uh, Celebi, the uh, the unknown, the unknown of all things. Like Gen 2 to me, on top of having just a really good aesthetic that's unique to that era, was also when Pokemon was just the most interesting and mysterious to me. Like there was so much intrigue going on with like the world of Pokemon in the movies and in the games and things like that. I loved that stuff and I love to see that come back. So yeah, a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon, even though I didn't appreciate them as much as a kid, have just suddenly become my favorite. Ampharos, Flaffy, Celebi, all them. Nidoran? and a Gastrodon. Three packs left. I take back what I said about modern Pokemon not having like design cohesion. I feel like that would be a completely ignorant thing for me to say without having played the game. So I'm just gonna take that back right now. <laughs> we got three more packs left in this Steam Siege box and then it is uh, dead and gone. Cool. So we got this Gardevoir pack that we're going to open. We've not pulled any Gardevoir cards, even though that's kind of like the lead card of the set. We've been on the Volcanion train though. We've got a lot of Volcanion today. So let's see. Armor Fossil Flaffy. I love Flaffy. Rapidash, Dino, Larvesta, Apom, Drifloon, Mareep. Love Mareep. Captivating Poke Puff Reverse, and a Bisharp with that Steel and Darkness split energy. Nice. I like how a lot of the card art kind of leans in the same direction as the hollow foil pattern. It's a nice little design detail that really makes everything work together. All right, two more packs. We got a Xerneas Break pack and a Volcanion pack. We've been having a lot of luck with Volcanion today, so we're gonna save him for last and start with this weird Xerneas Gold pack. Honestly, really enjoying my time with Steam Siege so far. I, I am, again, maybe it's just because I wasn't there, but I. I am not getting the hate at all. I don't know, maybe we'll have to do some more old XY era sets. There's Roaring Skies. Uh, I was gonna do Evolutions until I accidentally pulled the one card I was looking for off camera. So, you know, I guess I'll just save that box for later. We got a C dot reverse. Hey, there we go. Ampharos Hollow, that's what I was looking for. Love this card, man, love this card. That's my boy right there. All right, I don't know how we can follow that up, but we got one last pack. But yeah, if you wanna see any other old, maybe XY era sets, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. There's Roaring Skies, Evolutions. Oh, there's XY base set, but that's a really expensive set. Flashfire is another expensive one, but that's like all Charizards. There's a lot of cool stuff in the XY era that I've yet to explore much myself that I would love to maybe do on camera. But we've got this one last Volcanion pack of steel. Steam Siege, one of the most infamous and weirdly hated sets of all time. It must've just been so overprinted that it was inescapable, but man, I've had such a blast with it today. All right, here's our last pack and we're gonna slow roll this and do the boring commentary. So we got Fletchender, Pokemon Ranger, Tangrowth, Shellos, Dino, Larvesta, Apom, Drifloon, Oh, we're ending on a uh, Talon Flame. Huh. Let me try that again. We're ending on a Talon Flame break card. That's a new one. I've never seen this one. Pretty appropriate to end our Steam Siege box on a break card, but what's behind it? It. Mm. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, and at the end of the day, in our one Steam Siege booster box, we got Xerneas Hollow, Shift Tree Hollow, Shift Tree Hollow again, Chandelure Hollow, Xerneas Hollow again, Eveltal, Bisharp, and my favorite, Ampharos. Plus, we got the Xerneas Break, the Talon Flame Break, Magirna EX, Volcanion EX, Professor Sycamore Full Art Trainer, and the Volcanion EX Full Art. And that is everything we got, not counting interesting commons and uncommons, rares, reverse hollows, all that. Ultimately, I'm really happy with this. We got my favorite hollow with the Ampharos. We got a full art trainer. We got some interesting break cards and we got a full art EX that I've never seen before. So at the end of the day, is Steam Siege the worst Pokemon set of all time? No, no, I actually had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> but I can see why some people might think this is an underwhelming set. You know, not every set is gonna be brilliant stars with its six different Charizards or anything. But I think a lot of the hate for it might be specific to like the time it was released. You know, if you've not opened a lot of XY stuff, this is a great set to open to kind of see what it was like. Because this stuff was all before my time with the Pokemon TCG. So seeing a lot of this for the first time is really cool and interesting. And because it's not that popular, I mean, this is a pretty old box. They 
you can get for, you know, less than some of the Sword and Shield era boxes. Like you could probably get this for about the same price as a Sun and Moon base box or a Sword and Shield base box. Granted, that's still over $200, but you know, considering XY base is almost $2,000, you know, that's not bad. <laughs> so yeah, give Steam Seed a try if you ever happen to find any of it. And you know, don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Look at these cards. They're cool. Now I have to go buy another booster box for my sealed collection. All right, bye.